Another economic lesson here. <laughs> uh, uh, people have been wondering uh, why is the stock market going up while the uh, middle class just stays flat? Where's all the money coming from? Now, this uh, week's New Yorker magazine has a page called the Financial Page, and this, this week it's about something called a shadow economy, the off the books economy the under-the-table economy. And uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, this is getting some money in the circulation without it being any re recorded anywhere, they hope. And uh, that might have something to do with it. And then I just listened to the touts on the uh, NPR or National Public Television stock market show, and they're touting away. And they say that monetary policy, they didn't mention shadow economy at all. I don't think that program is uh, very honest. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, there's uh, another one of my favorite theories. Is anything that's uh, um, popular accumulates complications until it collapses. Now, the Republicans' mortgage scam is an example of that. People are practically forced into mortgages. And so they can get crookeder and crookeder and crookeder without the people being able to defend themselves. And it's, practically everything is that way. You're getting jobs, and whatever you do, and a pile of regulations. And let's hope they're good ones, but uh, it, just, it gets, gets to be a jungle like tangle to do anything to do it. I remember Paul Newman. Uh, yeah, he has, he's a good businessman. He started his Newman's own food product line. He refused to get into the jungle. He would pay more in taxes and things just, for, just, just to stay out of the jungle. And uh, uh, that's it. I, I say it's there, but I don't know what to do about it. <laughs>